Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to use Power Apps with Custom Vision API and integrating them so that we could uh, we could like scan images and detect through your camera source or even image detection. So let me show you, uh, I have I currently uh, trained a model in Custom Vision, so let's sign in. Let's see, uh, I, create, I normally create a model in which you need to like the thing you need to like get API and everything. So I'll show. So this is a model that I created using uh, laptops and mobiles. So I trained a model um, in which uh, they are laptops and mobiles. And if you see, um, I do have position of 100% and everything. So we'll use this model and we'll detect between a mobile and a laptop. So let's get started. So you need to go first go to the make.powerapps.com and click create. Once you're at this page, click canvas app from the blank. And let's give the app name as custom vision demo okay and let's click here phone don't forget that and click create so we'll use this power app and connect this custom vision api this power so that we can use this use this app on your mobile to, to scan different type of music you can you can you can train anything you can detect between anything so uh, this is the default panel of power apps so if you click theme you can select a wide range of themes for now i'll just click the dark green dark green thing okay so now let's create uh what's it um first uh, so I i'm going to demo like in two things one one screen would be to detect the object directly from your camera and the second being uh, like being able to fetch your uh, image from the gallery so for now let me show you how to fetch the image from the camera so if you go to media there's a camera button if you click the camera uh, it will add the camera um, box in here so once you set up this uh, just uh, click here media okay so now let's uh, add the script here so so what we need so once we click so uh, when the, when this app is running you need to uh, like put like in front of it uh, in front of camera uh, like put a mobile or laptop and just click so we'll we'll keep an option like for when when this camera uh, thing is selected uh, i might need to do as clear collect then uh, it's asking for a collection name so let's keep the collection name as uh, oh no, oops camera collect then then now we need to give the uh, item so we'll use custom vision okay it's not coming okay uh, sorry so before we do that we need to I forgot to link this thing so let's link this then uh, we'll get the custom vision the suggestion because we're not getting suggestion that means the custom vision thing is not yet uh, linked so if you click here the data sources so currently they are there the custom vision thing is not there so if you go to connector you, you might see this custom vision connector so if you click and click add connection it would ask your prediction key so prediction key would be available from if you click once you publish this there's a prediction url if you click this there's a prediction key here so if you copy this Control c and paste it here there you go the prediction key is here and if you go to and for the site url you need to just copy this and this much and control v here then click connect and should connect in no time um, there you go so you have a your custom vision uh, api is connected so let's go back here and once once you click here there you go so now if you use custom there you go you you get um the apis and everything so you need to select the custom vision classify image version 2 make sure you do that and then you need to put the um, prediction um, project id publish name and the file so for the project id go back here close it go to the settings and you can see the project id here of your project so copy that go back here and click paste then next next what it's asking it's asking the publish name so let's go back here and click on performance 
it's currently just published as demo iteration so go back again and demo iteration paste here and then click copy and it's asking the file name so the file name would be um, camera let's see what its name is camera1 so camera1 dot photo once you close this bracket here and what you need you need its predictions so let's keep dot predictions there you go and close the bracket so you, so currently you have set up so, so that when you click this click this camera uh, rectangle it would call the customization API and now where, where where will you display this output you need some you need the things you, that you need to display this so if you go to gallery there's a vertical you, you can use anything we can, let's for now let's click the vertical let it let it paste here okay so now it's asking from which collection should it take so if you remember we we had made a collection during writing the script like camera call then we, if you click that uh, it would automatically link to the database so power apps does all automatically so if you have seen i just written a one line of code till now that's the best thing of power apps right? like it, you don't need to write that much of code imagine that because um, normally uh, if you if, if you are doing this type of machine learning code you need to write a lines of code you need to install a bunch of libraries but custom uh, power apps does, does everything for you okay so let's for now let's make it as title and subtitle so so now click here on the title and for the title we'll keep it as uh, we'll keep it as so that it would show the tag name the thing it identified and for the subtitle the subtitle let's make sure that uh, we need uh, to uh, show the probability so i have uh, i have already i already had in my clipboard so that i won't forget so so you need to keep this item the probability into 100 then um, this would turn it to a percentage and decimal mark it to till two places and round it round it up and then put the percentage there okay so now your camera uh, screen is set up okay so let's rename it as camera test continue so this is done so now once this is done we need to put a back button also so that we need to go back to the main screen so let's for now let's let, let's shall I keep a button here let's put a button here and name it as back we'll we'll map it later for now for now let's let's keep it like that and let's create a new screen and click blank okay so there you go so for now let's name it as gallery test screen there you go okay so so nothing much would be changed it's just we need to change the uh, input input uh, side of it so for the gallery click on media and click here add image so that it would enable you to add an image there you go so uh, we'll do one thing um, in camera screen we, we we use the script like if you click the camera uh, section you need to you can do the same thing here once you add the image it should automatically for now um, we'll use something like uh, like once you upload here we click a button and then uh, and then the scanning should happen okay so for now let's let's generate a button for that also so let's keep your and name it as scan and let's put the script here so one, once you go to advance click on select and then write the same thing as clear collect clear collect and write the collection for this we'll we'll, we'll name it as gallery collection then uh, it's asking the item for the item for same custom vision make sure you use the version 2 because it's the latest version and project ID go back here go to the settings copy this and paste it here and then it's asking for the publish name you can get the publish name from here demo iteration copy that paste it here and then it's asking for the file name for the file name previously we used the camera dot three because we have taken the camera so for now we need to use the um, add with image uh, uh, sorry the upload image one so we'll use uh, we'll keep here uh, uploaded image so the up image will be uploaded stored in this so we need to use this one so there you go close the bracket and dot predictions oops not 
predictions oh, i think correct one okay i'm just okay. there you go i close the bracket so this is done so once you add your image here and click the scan the it should automatically scan the image so let's link the the collection here also so don't forget to change the collection here click the gallery icon thing and then let's mm, hold on press the menu there you go and that title and subtitle make sure it doesn't cover the screen there you go and if you go here click the title title go advanced and make sure you keep the tag name here and go to the subtitle and uh, where is it yeah there and the text should be the same which i paste here the rounding thing so there you go so once it's done okay so so our our, our, our scanning scanning side is done our scanning side is done so what so so when the user opens the app how sh- how will he navigate to this um you need a navigation thing so that the customer like the, the user would automatically navigate himself to through the app and if he wants to do the camera thing you can go to the camera if he wants if he wants to do the gallery thing you can do the gallery thing for that let's create a screen let's create a screen and put a button here in the center let's name it as camera test and another one gallery test there you go so the cust- so the, so when the customer enters here play this when the customer if he clicks the camera test button the camera shrink should be opened and if if he clicks the gallery button the the gallery thing will be. so how to navigate so once you click here if you go uh, we need to just change the on select form can just click go to here and click navigate to to which screen on uh, camera test screen so so once this is programmed it if someone clicks this thing it will automatically go to the camera thing okay so i already knew so the thing is i already knew the command what if you are if you are new um, if you are new guy who who, are try, who who is trying power for some you you might not know that how to navigate so power apps how to come with that so if you click uh, let me just erase it so if you click the fx thing here it, it it shows some command so if you go to the text and click here action you might see many commands in which one of the command would be for navigation so if you double click this it will automatically add and once you close the button it it, 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 can, it should automatically suggest also like which screen to navigate so as we are using the gallery one we'll just click gallery test screen and close the bracket so well we are set up and don't forget to map this also so that um, they would they should navigate to um, to the previous screen also so let's navigate don't forget to remove this screen one then and to the camera test also we'll do the same navigate screen there you go so we are done but you may you may also want to also realize that there are three screens how the app will know that from where from which screen start so if you click on the app there's a way on start navigate to the the initial screen that is screen one there you go and close the bracket so it will start always so let's see if the navigation works or not here if you click the camera test to go back and if you click back to look at it is more good okay so for for the initial demo basis let's do one thing um let me see if i have an image lying around for the computer okay let's do one thing let's go on google and select uh, mobile image let's type it mobile image okay. there you go i search one for our skeleton database so let's click this Uh, let's give this take the first image and let's and let's save the image so i'll save it in the document folder okay it's saved and let's go back here let's start the app let's go to the gallery test and it's asking click here so let's click it 
and then go to documents and then I'll select the false frame which I selected click and click scan so it should scan and give the result here so let's wait and let's get the result and there you go it's suggesting it's a mobile and it's 100% accuracy well it's a mobile so there you go it's a basic demo now I'll show you how to do the same thing in mobile okay Well, you saw the mobile demo and well, it was working pretty good. I tried between two laptops and a mobile and it was working pretty accurate, accurately. So we can, we can use this app in further implementation also, like we can link it, link it to a database. We can do link it to the specific database so that every, every time one, someone scans the image, it should automatically upload the image to a SharePoint or a OneDrive or a Google Drive. And you can also do some analytics. You can improve the model. I just used a model which, which was pre-trained here. For a demo basis, I just use a laptop and mobile. You can even try uh, doing uh, a precise model in which something you, you you can use. You can put some use case on it. So well, this was a basic demo of of, of my power apps that I did. Well, and thanks for watching. And feel free to comment down below and suggest me some ideas in which I can do this power app, or suggest me any ideas in which you are suggesting that that I should do the tutorial on. So okay, stay safe, stay amazing, keep inspiring. Bye bye.